Well, tonight we begin a series on the public transportation system. This after several complaints about some of the conduct of bus drivers. Some say the buses drive too fast and create a hazard for fellow motorists, while others say some passengers on the bus pose the greatest threat. Now, our Jared Higgs went undercover to take in the experience for himself. The public bus, or a jitney, is the transportation of choice for many Bahamians. It helps our youngsters get to school and their parents get to work. Despite its vitality, the bus system takes a lot of flack. The death of a 10th grade female student while riding the bus came as a shock to the nation. 16-year-old Mizilana Bucamp died after being hit in the head by a rock. and We found out how easy that was. So cameraman Karen Miller and I headed out to Carmichael Road to catch one of these buses. I've got my dollar twenty-five. I've got my hat on. And I'm ready for my first ride on a jitney. The ride started off pretty smoothly. We headed west on Carmichael Road. Lots of folks were getting off, although the driver wasn't really stopping at actual bus stops. We caught a bus heading back east, passing Essie McPherson right after the school's dismissal. This bus was a bit cooler, nice music, tinted windows. I think the driver noticed us filming, but he didn't bother. On our first day of filming, we didn't make it to SC McPherson in time to actually see the bus stop in action. As we approach, traffic slowed to a standstill. I could get used to this, just like the buses down in Barbados, I thought, until... So a whole rock? collided with the window of the bus right now as we passed the FC McPherson Junior School. It was a very quiet bus ride, very comfortable. Everybody was more or less just getting right past in the school. We saw a huge crowd. Well, we had pop, a rock hits the window. A lady in front of me commented that if it hit her, of course it would have been something. The bus driver didn't seem too phased by the rock hitting the window. I guess he didn't want to take on an army of preteens. But what if the glass broke? Who would be to blame? The kids were pretty animated, especially when they saw our cameras. We tried to find the school's police presence, but couldn't. That situation made me realize that there's a fine line between safety and danger on the bus, as we found out from other passengers. I was riding a 16A because I was coming from school, and then there was this bus, it just hit screen into us. Oh, there's it's crazy, mm -hmm. crazy, and they're beating down one another. It's chaos out there, it's stupid. Well, I was sitting on the bus and someone got robbed. Right in front of you? Right in front of me. The person ran off the bus with a bag and everybody ran off the bus behind them. <laughs> Most passengers just want to get home safely. What can you do if somebody on the bus or outside the bus doesn't have the same regard for safety as you do? It's a routine decision on a good day, but what about on a bad day? Later in this series, we talk to the stakeholders about what we can do to make public transportation safer. Jared Higgs, ZNS Network News.